Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyhide.co.uk back again with another project for you and this time it's a variation on my um, two Ferrero um, wine bottle hanger and as you can see this one hasn't just got Ferrero in because somebody rightly pointed out that not everyone likes Ferrero. I have to say they're not actually my favourite but they just happen to be a convenient size and ready wrapped. Um, but what I've done it here is this is sized to fit either two Ferrero but it will also hold eight of the lovely Elizabeth Shaw mints which are these ones here. These ones are salted caramel but they come in um, mint and I think orange as well. I think you can get them abroad as well, I hope so. Uh, but that's what I'm using and it holds eight of those and it'll either go on a wine bottle um, at the top there or um, it could easily, if you didn't do this top section, would make a very nice table favour. So just some nice little chocolates for after dinner. Um, the other thing that it actually holds as well, when I can find them, are three of the lovely Godiva chocolates. Now I know Godiva are available all over the country. I, I had some gorgeous Godiva chocolates when I was in, in Brussels. Um, and they're available now in these little individual masterpiece, individually wrapped ones. Um, and it holds three of those as well. Um, and that's what we're going to make today. I've made it using the beautiful Painted Harvest stamp set, uh, which is proving to be an absolute favourite um, with lots of my customers. Um, I think it's because you can get so many variations. This is the stamp set here, which doesn't look very inspiring as it is, but once it's stamped, it is beautiful. Um, and I've used another one of my colour combinations from my uh, colour inspiration folder, which is uh, this one here that's available as a tutorial. Um, and I've used the powder pink berry burst chocolate chip combination, which is just one of over 60 combinations that are available in there. So it's um, the other reason I'm making this again instead of my Christmas one is because I've had lots of people say, could you make me one in centimetres? So happy to oblige. Um, and off we go. So you need a piece of A4 cardstock, which you're going to cut down the middle at 10.5 centimetres. So it's 29.7 centimetres long. And then just line that up at two centimetres on the right hand side, and then at 8.5 centimetres and score. Then on the long edge, you're going to score at two centimetres. 5.5, 16.5, which is one of those horrible measurements, but it's literally right in the crease there, and 23.5. You'll also need to cut yourself a piece of, of um, Berry Burst cardstock, and this is uh, 6 by 8.5 centimetres and a piece of Whisper White which is 5.5 by 8 centimetres for stamping on and you'll need a scrap of Whisper White for stamping and punching the leaf as well. So once you've got your cardstock first thing is fold and burnish those score lines. I've got one more bit of scoring to do actually which I've just noticed in my instructions so before I get too far this is the one that I messed up on my inches version. You are going to line up at 7.5 centimetres on the long edge um, as you go along and just score above and below the score line. Okay, the reason for that is because if you score all the way across, it adds a bend and then it doesn't sit quite so nicely on, on your bottle. It's not the end of the world if you don't, as I showed in my video where I messed it up. But that's the fun of doing live videos. It's like when I do a class. Um, I like to keep those bloopers in if you like because actually it shows that everybody makes mistakes and it really it really doesn't matter. You know you can actually overcome pretty much any mistake that you make. Once you've um, scored and, and, and burnished on the little one that was just on the score line just cut up on that tab and then notch. And these are going to be folded the, in the opposite direction in a moment. So literally just, I, I meant to say this is powder pink cardstock as well. And on the front one, this is just so you don't have two tabs competing for the space. 
just take a little sliver and notch out as well. Okay. And once you've done that, if you fold these back on themselves, this is going to create our little tray. Like so. And this piece here is the reinforcement. So all I'm going to do is just snip and notch, snip and notch, like so. And then I'm going to cut away these two long rectangles on the top. Now, I'm using the one and a quarter inch punch. If you haven't got that, it would work with a one and a half inch punch as well. And what I'm going to do to help centralise that is I'm going to take a post-it note and my punch. And with the sticky bit at the top, I'm just going to punch out a circle. And this is going to be centralised in the middle here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can just, it's much easier to eyeball it with a post-it note than it is with your punch. So once you've done that, and I find where I've got my punch again, a little bit more. Come in from the side, line up and you can see so we're pretty much equal on 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 that and just punch through and that makes it easy to then fold the second piece underneath line up that hole again and punch a second hole and that way your holes are always going to line up so you'll end up with a piece that looks like this which is ready for our adhesive so, because it's going to have a, a fairly strong, um, sort of, we need a strong bond because it's not just sitting flat, I'm using Fuse and I'm putting the glue on the small, slightly smaller tab at the top. And with Fuse, just remember that little flick at the end, fold that down, fold these two panels at the reverse and that just helps keep it nice and rigid. And then on the front here, if you fold your tabs forward, And then you just come in on those tabs and try and get as close to the edge as you can. And then all you do is just fold those up like so. Now obviously you could leave those as um, as they are if you wanted. Um, but what I've done is I've just I'm just going to cut some of the colourful seasons um, DSP. And you can see here comes in gorgeous uh, colours, and one of the colours is this lovely berry burst. So I'm going to use a darker strip this time. I used the sort of crackle whitewash effect before and all I'm going to do is just cut a strip of that which is about 15 centimetres long at about 1.8 centimetres so just under the two centimetres. Now this isn't going to meet around the back but that actually doesn't matter because you're not going to see it and I'm not going to score it either. Um, I'm literally just going to pop my snail onto that all over the place, onto the front there. Just kind of centralise it, fold that around the side and just tuck it up the back. And if you wanted to, you could also, you could always neaten that off and um, put another piece around the back if you wanted to. Just give that a good press down with your fingers. And then we're on to do the stamping. So because we're using photopolymer stamps, you're going to want some cushioning underneath. So if you've got a stamping pierce mat, um, that will work fantastically. Or a scrap bit of dense foam that I've got there. What I've done here is when I'm stamping, I'm like to stamp off to the side. I've just cut a, one of our grid sheets into quarters just to make it easier um, and not so I don't have to keep cleaning my piercing mat as well. So mount your large stamp and you can see here there's a big W and in powder pink just stamp on the top like so and you'll lift it up and you'll think yuck that looks dreadful. If 
you just turn it through 90 degrees and stamp again that will help even it out and then do exactly the same in the bottom corner like so. So that's our powder pin. Then we're going to use our berry burst with the next stamp. <laughs> I can't find my berry burst stamp. There it is, right in front of me. Um, so literally do the same W at the top. Now some people find it easier to stamp the middle, particularly once they're a bit discoloured like mine is first, but it really doesn't matter if they're slightly offset. There we go, and just turn it up, literally a quarter of a turn. So stamp once, turn, quarter of a turn, and stamp again, and you get that lovely full effect there. Pop your ink pad away, because as I always I manage to get mine in a right mess. Well I managed to get myself in a right mess, not the ink pad. And then just come in, I've got some chocolate chipping here. And stamp the centre like so. Take the sentiment from the stamp set. I'm thankful for you. And keeping that nice and square. And then before we put your ink pad away, just take the three little dots and pop those in the middle there. And what you can do, if you want to, let's just extend a little bit, is you can use those dots if you want to quick clean. Let's pop a bit of powder pink, just add a few dots. So that's our panel, that's to go on our piece of berry burst. Like so. And then what, ooh, before I stick that down too much, what I should have done is stamped my leaf, which I've used some wild wasabi and lemon lime twist for. And again with these you can do them um, either way, and I've lost my leaf. <laughs> I don't believe this, okay. Well just believe me we're going to be stamping a leaf. I'm going to do the outer bit first and keep looking on my desk for where I have put my leaf. <laughs> okay, well we're just going to have to have a leaf as it is then <laughs> because that's obviously got stuck to the bottom of something, that's the downside of having a messy desk. Okay. So you of course will not have lost your, your leaf and you will have a lovely um, two layer stamped leaf. If you haven't, like me, you can just pop it like so. Hopefully I can find that before my next class. And then all you need to do is just layer that up onto the back panel. And there you have something that is ready for you to fill with some little chocolates to say thank you very much to a friend for being there for you. So there we go, a pair of wine bottle hangers, one of which has only got a partially stamped leaf. I'm off to hunt for my leaf now. If you want any pro products, please don't hesitate to visit my shop, um, www.heidysmith.stampinup.net or go to my blog and follow the links from there. Thanks for watching. Bye now. <laughs>